Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking apart a Gigabyte Turbo 3080, replacing the thermal pads and the thermal paste. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, or if you want to buy yourself some 3080s or ASICs, CryptoLLC.org. Also, Bitcoin saves your wealth and Jesus Christ saves your soul, so make sure you got both of those in your life. Now the card we're going to be doing today is this one here, Turbo Edition Gigabyte 3080. You can see we have a bunch of stuff in the background there. A lot of thermal pads from all the other cards we've been taking apart. So this one here needs to have thermal pads and thermal paste replaced. Now how do we know the thermal paste needs to be replaced? Is that it is dry. If I touch it, it's not wet anymore. It's basically just been dried out. So after some time, thermal paste needs to be replaced. Also, we assume that the thermal paste was never in good quality anyway. So it uh, most likely needs to be replaced. Thermal pads here. Took off this old one here. Took a look at it. Okay, thermal pad looks like a 1.5. So it's a little skinnier. Yeah, it looks like a 1.5. Now compare it to the one we're gonna replace it with. I'm gonna grab a 1.5 here. So this is the one we're gonna replace it with. This is a 12 MK thermal pad. So we're gonna plug that guy on there. Inside, this might actually even be a one. We'll have to double check to make sure it's a one or 1.5, but it's not a two for sure. So we're gonna replace that. Um, taking off all these guys. So there's 10 chips on a 3080. So take some off, take some off. And also I'm recording this with one hand. And then take this off. So we have four chips here, three chips here, three chips there. So that's six plus four is 10. That's all 10 chips. It's interesting that everyone does it differently. Sometimes there's two up, one up, like four here, four here, one here, one there. This gigabyte went four, three, three. So they kind of choose how they want to place them. You have two empty slots over here, just in case you want to get a 3090. Then they go at uh, uh, 12. So it'd be four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, then times two, two gigabyte of car, uh, VRAM for it. A 3090 at 24 gigs. So that's how they do that. Now there's also thermal pads on the sides here. You can see this old thermal pad. That's for cooling off these uh, chips here. These little power chips and chips, things like that. So we're just going to leave it. They are not really important. And uh, the thermal pad that's on them right now is totally fine. We don't need to replace that. We're only going to replace in the VRAM and then the core. So for core, we're going to use some rubbing alcohol. We're just going to wash off this old core. And then we're also going to use rubbing alcohol to wash off some of the VRAMs, get rid of some of this paste here. Well, not paste, but the thermal pad, as well as dry, dry out that little residue that's left from thermal pads. And then after that, I'm going to put on my new thermal pad, either a 1.5 or 1. We'll see how it is. And then also clean off this, these sections here and clean that off. All right, we have replaced the thermal pad and added our paste, cleaned off everything. Everything is ready to go. Now in terms of the thermal pads, you see that we just cut them out and place them over. Little bigger pieces here, smaller here, and so on. It doesn't really matter because as long as there's no chips that get in the way. Some cards, you have to cut precisely, some you don't. This one you do not. You can see there's no chips placement or indentations in this metal anywhere. Then these uh, the square right here, square, 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 so on. So there's no indentation. As long as we cover all the VRAMs completely, which we did, you see they're not peeking out anywhere on any corners. We're good to go. Got our paste on there. So now we're going to put this card together. And I'll show you guys the finished product at the end. All right, our card is ready. Got all our bolts on there. Everything's good to go. Can't really see inside of it. But it is complete. So now we can... Sh Plug this guy back into our rig and get some really nice temperatures. Now, what can you expect from an upgrade like this? From our experience, we're doing this on Zotax, 
doing this on an Asus ROG, doing this on a Turbo 3090 gigabyte. We're getting from around 10 to 20 degrees Celsius decrease in temperatures. It's very good, especially when it's hot outside. So 10, to, 10 Celsius is probably solid number you'll get. Now, of course, you need to use good thermal pads, get rid of this cheap stuff they have, and put on some good thermal pads like 12 or 14 MK. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. Like, subscribe at the bell, cryptolc.org. You want to buy yourself some GPUs, ASICs, or you want to get in touch with us about mining. Until next time, bye.